Hey, hey, we are here with the chef, Jason M. Diaz. How you doing, Jason? Hey, man, how you doing? Good, good. Uh, I gave you a little chef's challenge today. Are, are you ready? Sure. We're going to do a pico de gallo. Gotcha. Your take on a pico de gallo. I make a lot of pico de gallo myself. It's very simple. Um, I'd love to see your take on it. Something simple for everybody to be able to make. For sure. Awesome, let's do it. Let's do it. Cilantro. So, Jason, where are you from? I'm from Chicago. From Chicago? Yeah. What part? I'm from uh, the Tri Taylor area originally. Oh, dope. Okay. Uh, and you're still living in Chicago, right? Yep. Where are you living now? I'm living up in Jefferson Park. Jefferson Park? Yeah. Cool. Cool. Well, uh, where would you consider home? Um, honestly, home can be wherever you want it to be. Love it. You said this is a mess? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks pretty good to me. Here we go with the Pico. I agree. Wow. How do you hold a knife? Well, you want to hold it straight and you want to keep two fingers on it so it's never moving. If you hold it back here, it's going to move all over the place. You can slip, cut your finger, mm -hmm. anything else. So you always want to hold it straight. Hold it straight. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Just like your cutting board, you always want to put something underneath. Oh, okay. So uh, Smart. Paper towel, plastic wrap, whatever you want. Smart. You like the red Roma tomatoes? Yeah, keep it up with it. Uh, any uh, any dream jobs for you? Like, where would you where would you like to be as a chef? Right now, I think like one of my things that I like to do in the cooking field would be, um, you know, traveling, kind of like you know maybe doing videos of like you know different areas of the world, tasting different cuisines. That's always been good because I love traveling. Oh, absolutely. Where have you been? Uh, let's see, I've been to the Philippines, I've been to, you know, China, not for a long time. Um, oh, okay, sure. I've went to Japan once. Uh, oh, I've wow. I've been to Korea once, so, you know, I've been in the eastern areas, and I also went to Puerto Rico. Hey, Jason. What's up? Don't forget the jalapenos, bro. Of course not. What's the key to working with these peppers? Uh, well, obviously, if you were smart, and I'm not, I would be wearing a glove. But uh, the main part about what you got to think about is um, jalapenos <laughs> is you want to remove the center which is the vein part. You yeah. don't, it's not so much the heat and the uh, and the seeds, Yeah. most of it in here. You still want to keep some heat, obviously. Sure. I mean, like, who doesn't love spicy food, right? Pertillo's or beefies? Uh, Pertillo's. What's your favorite pizza place? My favorite pizza place is this old joint that used to be in, um, or it still is there. It's called the Benzo's. It's on a tri tail area. You were talking a little bit about a praying mantis you saw. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, like, with all the times coming, you know, um, how it's going down everywhere with the COVID nonsense. Sure. You know, it was just like out of nowhere. I looked outside the window and I saw this big praying mantis, bright green, you know? Yeah. And like, I was just like, huh. Spiritually thinking, you know, you, you realize that praying mantis is also like a meaning for, when you look at it, it's saying be patient and think about your actions for your next move. So, I mean, I took that as a thing where it's like, okay, so let's not try to ra be rash and go back to work and all this stuff. But let's think about what we should be thinking of doing next and all that. And take some time. Look at this, we got a pico here. A little avocado in there, you throw some garlic in there. Mm -hmm. How'd you spice it? I just a little salt and pepper. A little salt and pepper? Easy. A little, a little uh, lime juice in there. Throwing easy things on there? Uh, just a little paprika, cumin, uh, black pepper. Great. Salt. Great. Oregano. You know, nothing, nothing too much. Easy. Okay, so you seared it for a while, mm -hmm. and then you chopped it up into tiny little pieces. Yep, I sliced it up, I'm biased, you know, and then um, just going to heat it up right now. So uh, we got a little, so let me get a little spicy, not too much. Nice. I mean, I've always had cool. a fondness for cooking, trying different stuff, you know, as a little kid. Sure. You know, I used to, like, help my mom out in the kitchen sometimes. Oh, nice. Okay, so your mom was a big cook? Or... Oh, big time. She's uh, one of my... You know, more, um, I guess I would say, inspirations. Cool. He's always been there for me, you know, all life. Anybody else you've really enjoyed cooking with? Any other restaurants you've really enjoyed? Do you want to give any? All, all the restaurants I've worked in, I've found some good people I like to work with. Um, yeah, absolutely. You know, especially you guys at the Little Goat. That's one of my favorite areas. Little Goat Diner? You talking yeah. about Little Goat Diner? No Shout way. out to Little Goat. <laughs> <laughs> Jason M. Diaz, skirt, steak, tacos. Look at this, Pico. Little side dish here, little jalapeno action on the side. Oh man, these look beautiful.